sometimes. They'll play that double commit game. They'll play a little bit of that whiff game. And when you find those openings, you've got to take oh. them. Or you can do the realized thing and just dribble it straight down the middle. This is why he's brought onto this lineup, showing off in the first minute of game number one. Yeah, great second touch. Deep, booming clears. And that's what's stopping Hanagumi from finding their own sense of offensive pace and rotation. Another pass to Maxu from Realize, and now we've got a 3-0 lead. And Maxu just smashes that home. The defense was there, but the shot's just too quick for Shaolon and Dern not rotating back to get something for Hanagumi, but Realize gonna center this in off the ceiling, following it nicely. Great little Ooh. touch. Shaolon's available, but we'll just pop it in a little harder for him. You know, as a fan of the game, I absolutely love when teams give realized space and he's allowed to put touches <laughs> like Maxi beats out Burn to the play. And with 2.14 still to go, this is the most subdued we've seen the three rats yet. Shot, crossbar not on target. Follow through is Burn gets the first lead that Hanagumi needs. Uh, first lead indeed, and it's off some really decent work finally from Hanagumi. They actually do glitch. A little bit of an error there, he does eventually make the touch, but the 50 doesn't go perfectly his way. It will eventually make its way to Max Yu. The second touch isn't available, but Realize can sink it as soon as he takes a shot. Three rats are up by one. Yeah, but I want to give credit to Max Yu for this. Beats out two defenders on the approach, still finds... Although the strike down is not good enough by Rapupi, just close and... There oh. we go, Blue can find it though, smashes it just off that crossbar and in. I feel like Blue and Rapupi kind of switched accounts a little bit there. These are the shots that I'm typically <laughs> seeing. Setting that pace at the moment and they would have to be the one to uh, change that by the looks of it because one knee is just willing to sit back. They seem quite comfortable right now but Poofy just misreads that, doesn't go for the save at all and it goes into that top right corner. It's about as top right as you can get. Well, why would Poofy expect this shot? Until this point, Wallen was way too far behind that. Unfortunately, that's what's going to cost that equalizing goal for the side of Nitz. And now Blue has a chance. Rapoopy puts it in. One and he take the lead back two to one. And this is what we should be expecting more out of one and a Blue setting Rapoopy up. Sending it into the back, and Ray will actually send that up field quite nicely. I can't see with a chance. Blue will send it back down. Ray out to midfield. It gets past Rapupi. Maru will actually get it back to Ray. That's going to be a shot, and Ray will take one home. There it is, Ray. That's a big equalizer that Nips needed at such a key moment. Maru wins that challenge, finds that perfect pass, and backward read. Poofy had a chance but isn't able to corral the wild ball just yet. Now Rapupi, so much space. First defender misses, second defender doesn't oh. get a chance because Rapupi is too good off the backboard. 1-0 lead for one Eddie. Too good off the backboard and with zero boost to boot, he absolutely seems like that underway multiple times. If Nymph can do, find that again, they might find the backboard, but Blue now Forcing the attack for one and E right now. Rapupi finds the angle again and Ray is just out of reach. That is a pretty devastating blow for Nymph right there. Blue with the bump. Unsung hero. He's been able to form it a few times. They're not able to capitalize yet. Blue out to the midfield. That's going to be a pass to Maru though. What was he thinking? Yeah, I want to watch this one again. Blue. It was almost like it was a pass from the other team. And you want to know what he's thinking. His name is Blue. He sees a blue. And that opens up a doorway for Akikonsu as Poofy went for that mid pitch boost. Ball bounces in the corner. Ray off that backward. Maru with that chance. Oh. And this time he does not miss. 2 0 lead yeah. for Nip. And this is probably one of the best goals we've seen out of Nip so far. What a pass in from Ray. And Maru just strikes it. Can't quite find the center there. Akikonsu. And I believe that was, oh, Maru actually, both in that corner. There's the little bit of overcommit from Nip, and Rapupi capitalizes on it. Another goal for Rapupi is third in the row for the one on each side as able to find the, it's Maru versus Poofy, no more boost. Maru comes up big, the tight rotation from Rapupi not gonna be there. Instead, oh. it's a shot from Akakatsu with 21 seconds left, a big lead for this blue side. Yeah, this is kind of huge for them. We are in the decided match. This is the fifth game of... This is sick. I actually love the overlay. 
right here. The fact that we get to see those life boost meters go up and down. Overlap doing a great job on that front. Again, it's nice to see another tournament in Asia, and it's nice to see Akekansu coming up huge. Big 1-0 lead for the blue side. Maru made a really good choice to slow down and take that fifth. You can touch, but Maru reads it well out to midfield. Now only 30 seconds left. Rupupi under it, but it will go back to midfield. Poofy finally sh finds the shot, and the game is even. That was an incredible exchange down to the very end right there. I thought it was over for what anyone blew. Missed his opportunity, but instead... Poopy looking possibly for a bump there, doesn't find one. Looking like we might have the classic one any Game 5 overtime, but not if... Poofy oh! can do this with two seconds left! He absolutely mind games his, the entire opposing team. Maru just gets juked out there. Ray flicked over and Poofy does it. Just so back and forth for right now. Absolutely is. Neither team able to break oh. the mold until Squiggly goes underneath. An absolute torpedo of a shot right there. Set up from above, courtesy of Fishy. Ball gets countered back the other way. Dan has a chance if Bunny Dummy misses. Bunny Dummy does get to the back where Dan got there first. Counter attack goes all the way back, and we got a 4 2 lead. And with 47 seconds left on board and the inconsistencies we've seen out of Danix, I feel like that's enough to take this one. Chance to punish Shoguns for their over-aggressive approach, and that's most likely where they're going to look to strike. The big question will be, can they finish? This is their chance. Dan yeah. drains it in the middle, and Danix takes that 1-0 lead. They absolutely can, and all this came off of an unbelievable read uh, and... Uh, 50 that went um so well for the ground squiggly keeps a live ball off the roof no one's underneath yes fishio is as sphinx takes it back the other way pinch is held in the corner bunny dummy keeps it up for dan to keep this one moving forward squiggly finally watches it touch no claws from out of nowhere or was it this bunny is... dummy i don't know but we're back to the other side of the field and we're gonna go back the other way as well fishio throwing it to the corner does get underneath Lots of a meatball and Dan's going for it. He is hungry, but not that hungry. He whiffs. Klaus does not. Ball hits the ground. We get overtime. It seemed like both of those teams, regardless of the result, were determined to keep that up at that point. That was one of the longest zero second overtimes I've ever seen. Klaus, he will finish it so fast. After all that, the overtime lasts less time than the actual zero second did. <laughs> Cringe Society versus Ground Zero. I think it was Arlo Masters Week 4 Final. Watch that game too. It's very similar to this. All oh. I'm going to say as Sphinx gets a great read off that backboard to tie us back up at one apiece. And what a well-finished play. Dan got absolutely erased today. He was going to go up there to capitalize. Max, didn't you earlier say not to leak scripts? And it doesn't look like you have as Shogun's take one back. We were talking about a uh, reverse sweep. It is still in the cards for Danix, but that's going to make it harder. That's going to make it so much more difficult. Sphinx and Dan connecting a pass, but Clausy has to get onto it. A little bump on Clausy keeps no! going on the no! demo on Bunny Dummy, but nothing can go it's away. So Sphinx, another shot. Squiggly with the save. This is... Unbelievable pressure and just nothing sinking! <laughs> crossbar! Crossbar! Glossy, oh, finally! Glossy puts it away, finally! You can only hit the crossbar so many times. Sixth time, in fact, is the charm. Danex gets it in! You're not allowed to play with four, play four players, and uh, the bar definitely jumped out of that one, so, uh, yeah. Joxy hammers it home with 12 seconds in overtime. What a well taken shot. Yeah, Gone just didn't get enough force behind that clear attempt. Wound up throwing it right back. You know, it just depends on who's on the winning side of that right now. Optimistic able to clear out. Squirrel oh. puts a shot on that is so well continued. And Gone will actually take the goal for this. It's been so long since we've seen a good passing play straight up the middle. Get a good continuing touch actually goes to Optimistic and a shot on target. Blocked away beautifully by Ooh. Squirrel. The Joxy, a huge shot into that top half of net and takes it at 102k now. 
That was a driving strike. Up in front of the goal again, gone. Down the field, they will clear out and stop that danger. Stop it momentarily at least. Optimistic Noob has the oh. shot and it's going straight down the middle. These infield passes that were being seen set up by OK Havis, they've been draining them consistently. It really get a good grab of the nut and the ball in this case as we will play backwards. Sets up, gone, and that gets dribbled through. That's going to be a 2-1 lead for the scuba drivers and they're back in control. Yeah, great passing from Squirrel as well. The angle he got up. on with the swing and a miss. Yet Snoopy able to bail out the scuba drivers at least momentarily. Joxie has a oh. chance. It goes off two defenders and in. 1-0 lead for OK Happens. Snoopy uh, did get in position. There was so much space in that net for a shot and just nowhere he could place it. Okay, half is take it. In came five. There was no reverse sweep, but of course we had to have a close one. It is Asia and uh, what a game five we had.